Hello everyone, this is Beastly Eel here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the latest episode of Miss Marvel. So this was episode 5, and it starts off in an area we were not in before. So it starts off, the first half of the episode goes into detail how um, Kamala's great-grandmother and great-grandfather actually met. So we find out she was on the run, she was just had gotten the bangle, and or just had it for a while and she's been on the run hiding and she meets this man who owns all this land for roses and he basically got her to stay the night and they fell in love they eventually had a daughter together um, who happens to be obviously Kamala's grandmother so as they get older the kid is I don't know, eight, let's say. I'm not quite positive. It could have been anywhere between five and eight. The head of the Jins showed up on her doorstep and they began to talk and basically told her that you were to get the bangle by sunset tomorrow or else she was gonna. they were going to come down and finally be home. Now, she was not happy with this and she basically told her husband they need to leave now. Now, while this is going on, there's the big um, exile of Muslim Indians out of India to Pakistan, well, which is then just becoming Pakistan. And he didn't argue with her. He just left. He wasn't pleased with it, but he agreed to go with her. While they're on their way to the train, he asked her very specific questions as to why they were leaving, because he didn't believe it had anything to do with the British. And she explained exactly everything that was going on. She showed his, her powers and everything um, to the fact that she wanted to make sure he was aware of exactly what was going on. And that this woman who was now going to be hunting them, she wanted to make sure she was safe. So she explained to, she explained to her husband that he needed to take their daughter out of there. Now as this is going on, she leaves to go I guess confront her friend, or former friend, I should say. And so while this is going on, she goes over to talk to her friend, and her friend, the leader of the Jinn, basically say that you chose the wrong side and stabs her. A fatal wound, but it takes a while for her to die. Then she just leaves. So I guess it was unclear to her that she had a family and that the family would have the bangle, which is kind of weird to me, but whatever. While this is happening, she performs some sort of, I don't want to say magic, because that's not the right word, but she uses her abilities and with the bangle, summons Kamala into that time frame. And Kamala is now there, which we saw in the last episode. So now she goes, Kamala realizes where she is. She also realizes that she's got to find her grandmother. Um, but first, she actually finds her great-grandmother, who explains everything that was happening and how she summoned her to be there, and she had to go find her daughter, a.k.a. her grandmother, and get her safely to her father, Kamala's great-grandfather. So she finds her, her grandmother rather quickly, and she starts making these light platforms for her, but she gets pushed down and they shatter. And when they shatter, they turn into like these star type things. And Kamala's grandmother was able to help them guide her to her father, which I thought was nice. And they were safely there. And then they get back on the train without a problem. The father realizes their daughter is special and he takes them to Pakistan. Kamala, on the other hand, gets brought back to reality and the time frame. What happens is when she gets up, she realizes that there was a crack, a vein to their world. What happened was the first woman to go over there turns to like this gem type thing and then disintegrates. The leader of the Jinn decides um, that she thought she could make it. Kamala explains to her that um, Kamran needs her and that she shouldn't abandon her family. And she explains that she's not, she knows how to stop it. And so she runs into it and yells his name. 
Um, and she closes it, it looks like, which is definitely a weird thing to see. And then we see this wave of energy dissipate. And it goes right to Kamran, and he now has similar powers to Kamala. So while this is going on, Kamala then tries to close the vein, even though it stayed, uh, it was closed after um, the leader of the gym walked through it. And she disintegrated. So as this is happening, Kamala turns around and sees her mother and her grandmother, who happen to have found her thanks to uh, Where's My Phone app. Um, not even an exaggeration, that's factual. They then, it, you know, Kamala basically explains what's going on. She then runs after the Red Dagger, who basically says he will take care of what he needs to take care of, and that she needs to do what she needs to do with her family. He gives her a red scarf. And then we also see that um, Kamala's mother picks up her necklace, which is now broken, which makes it look like an S. Very much like Miss Marvel's costume. Not a coincidence at all. So she definitely has most of the pieces to her costume, which is excellent. Um, so we're going to get a, what looks like a probably a comic book accurate costume soon. So anyway, they then leave together. They get to know more about you know, Kamala's mother, and that the fact that they, Kamala's mother found out that her mother, aka Kamala's grandmother, was not lying at all about them being magic, and that it was true, and Kamala is the one that has all the power now. She's the one that's been trying to help people as much as possible. And we get to see this real connection between all three generations, because they realized that they all wanted the same thing, but they weren't quite sure how to do it. And I thought that was nice. So then we go back to the United States, and Kamran actually goes with Bruno, who tries to get him to, well, he tries to basically get Bruno to give him a place to stay until things get situated. Um, Kamran was tracked by the Department of Damage Control, and Kamran, Kamran blasts the robot um, but the robot shoots a rocket at the shop and explodes, and that's how the episode ends. So, what are we going to see in the last episode? Well, this is where it gets weird. I don't know if we're going to have Kamran go ballistic and Miss and and Kamala is going to have to stop him, or are we going to see her team up with Kamran along with the Red Dagger to stop? the Department of Damage Control. So this is where it's going to get a little weird. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Plus, we also don't know what's going to happen with the vein. Um, you know, is it really closed? Is it not? There's a lot of things unanswered. And I think it's because of that we don't know much as what's going to happen in the season finale, or series finale, I should say, of Miss Marvel. So, we're going to have to wait and see. Um, I thought this was an informative episode. I did not think it was phenomenal or great overall, um, but I definitely thought it was an informative episode. Um, enjoyable overall. So that being said, you know, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? And why? Write it in the comments. And as always, if you like the content you see, please like and subscribe below. Other than that, this is going to be Beastly Eel signing out. Have a great night.